What is going on you guys? Welcome back to another video. It is another beautiful day. Yeah, we are here riding, enjoying life. What else more could a man want? <laughs> Anyways, for quote of the day today, it's a very simple quote of the day. That is like a, it's a good reminder. And quote of the day is, it's you versus you. It's you versus you. And what that means is, the only person that you should focus on being better than is who you were yesterday. When you focus on trying to be better than that guy or this guy or that girl or this girl or whatever, you start to com you start to compare yourself to other people, and that's when you start breeding jealousy. You start breeding all kinds of those emotions that are not healthy. You you just start degrading yourself. You start getting jealous. Like all these horrible things are happening. Not horrible, but not good for you. Bro, why is this guy so far over here? <laughs> Bro, go apexing the corner. Respect, respect, respect. But yeah, no. When you start trying to be better than someone else, you start getting jealous. You start comparing yourself to them. You start thinking that you don't have anything, maybe. You know, like, oh, I don't have this, so I'm not as cool as them, or some shit like that. When you compare yourself to who you were yesterday, or last week, or last month, or last year, you start to realize how much you progress in life, or how much you haven't progressed in life. And that will either reinforce the fact that you're on the right path, or that you're not on the right path. If you're on the right path, and you just keep doing what you're doing, if you're not, you change something, you fix it, you start becoming a better person. Trying to be better than who you are, you versus you, is definitely the strap, bro. Because when you're trying to be better than other people around you, it just, it gets, it's nasty. So yeah, if you can compare yourself to who you were one day ago, one week ago, one month ago, one year ago, whatever, you're gonna start to, you're gonna start to level up, bro. Because you're going to look at yourself and realize like, oh, I could improve in this area right here. Or, oh, I could have done this differently in that situation. Or this and that and that and that. And you'll start to learn from your mistakes. And you'll just become a better human being overall because of it. Why does that thing look so weird? Why is it like so, uh, like, square? <laughs> Why does that look so goofy to me? the Breaking Bad RV. Dude, I wouldn't just see any RV and think it's from Breaking Bad, like, bro, what? Yellow ad Tesla, goddamn. I love the warm weather, bro. It's starting to get warm. I waved like after you passed me, hello. And like, bro, it's nice, it's nice. Am I tripping or is that? Okay, I'm tripping. I thought there was a bike behind me, but it was like a car. Man, this guy trolling and going 70 in the left lane, bro. <laughs> Look, I'm about to get off right here anyways.
through that road right here, bro. Goddamn. This shit feels fuego. I love riding on this road. Big ad dump truck. I mean dumpster truck. What the fuck are these things called? Trash truck? Garbage truck? Garbage truck. Bro got his degree from like fucking Walmart or something like bro what? Where did I get my degree from bro? What the hell? That's that public education type shit bro. <laughs> yeah. Bro is turning as slow as possible. Uh oh, someone that got pulled over bro. Why did bro stop like right here though? That's like the most inconvenient place ever, no? Unless it's like a mechanical thing. Damn, bro got a lifted forerunner. Bro, I swear to god this bike sounds better and better every time I ride it. Like bro. It sounds so good, bro. It's at 208 right now, bro. This motherfucker is cooking. Oh, dude, look, look at that rat rod, bro. Or whatever that thing is, that thing is cool. I've had a smile on my face like this whole time. I just realized that I was smiling, bro. Oh, this is not a fun situation to be in. Uh, well, I think I'm just gonna sit here because I'm not trying to like ride into traffic, bro. And this test is like in my ass, so I can't see the fucking cars to the, on the right lane, bro. I'm not gonna go around, bro. I'm gonna end up on a t-shirt if I go around. Bro, there's a lot of cool cars and trucks. Like, that is a dope-ass Tacoma right there, bro. I don't even like trucks, but that thing just, like, looks cool, bro.
out, dude. My back is warm. I can feel it. Like radiating heat on my ass, bro. I might have to like dead ass only ride at night in the summer, bro. Cause that sun is no joke, bro. That shit is hot. Especially during the day, bro. Like that shit gets hot, bro. And I'm wearing full gear in the summer, bro. I'm not gonna be in no squid. So it's gonna be warm, bro. Holy shit, dude. My left leg is warm as hell right now. My legs are cooking. Dude, my the bottom of my right boot yesterday was like low-key like melting, bro, from the exhaust. Oh my gosh, look that cloud shadow is coming towards us. It's approaching rapidly. Rapido. Oh my gosh, look at the cloud shadow, bro. Damn, bro, bro. It is nice under the cloud, bro. I like being under the cloud. I came on this road because I thought it was going to be like straight. No no stopping, bro. All I'm doing is stopping, bro. This shit getting hot. I'm going to have to find the most like opium routes in the summer to where I'm like not sitting at stoplights the whole time to record videos. Especially if I'm doing it during the day. At nighttime in the summer, it's like beautiful, bro. There's like no sun. It's like 90 degrees. It's like cool and like warm at the same time. It's like so nice. But, bro, during the day... Only fun. It's hot as hell, bro. Okay, I was looking at some bikes last night, and bro, why is my tack so dusty? Holy fuck. And bro, like, dude, I think when I get a 1000, I'm gonna get, or I guess not a 1000, when I upgrade, I'm gonna get uh, an RSV4 1100 factory, bro. Because, dude, they look so beautiful, they sound so good, bro. I have all of the above, literally, bro. And then they also are like fucking, like, so beautiful, bro. Like, they look so good. Then I would get the 2024, uh, the gold and white one, bro. Bro, come on, bro. That shit looks so good. It's like so fucking beautiful, man. And then if you put like an exhaust on it, it sounds like a lion, bro. It's like, like. Like it's ready to like fucking eat you, bro. Bro, that thing, crazy fucking machine, bro. I've also heard that people are say that like Aprilia is like not reliable, but I'm just assuming if you do the maintenance, bro, it's probably not gonna just like explode it on you. Maybe if you get unlucky, but like if you do the maintenance and you do it like correctly, bro, you should be fine. I remember I was looking on Facebook Marketplace one time and I saw an RC4 that uh, it was overfilled with oil so like the whole engine like flooded out and there's oil coming out of the exhaust and like it was like a blown motor but it was it was a like, blown motor but it was like Aprilia so it was like some people probably thought that that was because Aprilia is unreliable but probably uh, Obviously, there's gonna be some like issues when you buy it from a dealer. 
random shit's just gonna not work. But you have warranty for a reason, bro. So like, just get it fixed under warranty. It might take a week or two or three or four, but like, bro, better than having to pay for it. And you just do like, I've also heard that they eat tires. They like eat through tires, which I mean, whatever, bro, you know. Uh, but I mean, I don't know, bro. They just look so beautiful. And they sound so beautiful, dude. I genuinely think that RC4 might be the best sounding bike on earth, bro. It's just insane. But yeah, it's expensive. Um, but it's not like Ducati maintenance expensive. It doesn't, I mean, it doesn't have like a dry clutch. Like, Ducatis are fucking crazy. Like, to get a clutch job or whatever, like, the maintenance on the clutch is crazy. But, I mean, if you just take care of it, it should be reliable. Just like every other bike. Maybe not as forgiving as, like, a Japanese bike like this. But, I mean... I'm thinking of the Aprilia though, because I, I, when I went to the Eurocycle dealership, I sat on the RC4 1100 factory, the Ultra Gold, I think is the colorway, the 2024 one. Dude, that shit felt nice, bro. Like, that shit felt nice. It low-key felt like home, bro. I was like, damn, I feel kind of good on this thing, dude. So, it might be an option. It might be an option. It was like, it's like 25 or like 26K before like dealer fees and shit, which is absolutely ridiculous. Like that is, that is crazy for a motorcycle, but it low-key might be worth it, bruh. I mean, you could always finance. The, the guy that was at the dealership was trying to tell me like, bro, you could just trade in your R6 and get one right now. I was like, bro, chill, 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 chill. go on the little track and then I'm gonna end the video after that the track bro it's not a track it's like literally <laughs> it's not a track bro I just called it a track it's not a track it's like a little course dude that was a nasty upshift bro say it <laughs> Okay, this is the start of the course. I don't know what motorcycle that was, but that shit looked cool as hell, bro. Holy shit, dude, the underside of my right leg is burning, bro. Alright, here we go. Oh no, this is the infamous ball video, bro. The infamous smashing my balls against my gas tank. It's right here. Oh 
It just like leads into like new communities. Ow! Oh, that fucking hurt, bro. Oh. Oh, my balls, bro. Oh my god. Oh, that hurt. Ow. <laughs> Holy fuck, bro. There's like a fucking... I knew I knew it was there that time. I knew it was there that time. There's like Grand Canyon in the road. That time I came prepared. Bro. RIP to my balls. They're still recovering. Alright, well, I'm gonna end the video here after that fun little course. And uh yeah. If you enjoyed, drop a like, subscribe. Spread some love, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.